This is our annual day school. We've been having them since uh, 1996, I think it is. And today's uh, to topic is female pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Now, female pharaohs are rather rare phenomena. And um, we're having a look at three uh, individuals today. Uh, Keith Greenville, our founding chairman and patron, will be talking about Hatshepsut, one of the best known of them. Then our Vice Chairman, Gene Smith, will be talking about Tour Street. And then finally I will be talking about Arsinoe II. And I will be asking the question, is Arsinoe or can Arsinoe be regarded as a legitimate or valid pharaoh? My lecture is going to be about um, uh, uh, that forgotten pharaoh, her name is Towers Red. Very, very um, little is known about this lady um, and I hope that my lecture will enlighten you and uh, give you some information about her. And what makes her unique as a pharaoh? Because she is one of the very few uh, female pharaohs um, in Egyptian history and also because she, she ruled at a time of great uh, instability at the, in Egypt. Um, as I say, very little is known about it because her monuments were destroyed because uh, as a woman she was not considered um, uh, worthy. I was speaking on the most famous female pharaoh of ancient Egypt called Hatshepsut and she uh, reigned during the uh, 18th dynasty which was around about the 1500 BC and of course uh, being a woman, a female pharaoh, rather like Margaret Thatcher in Britain, she was the first uh, female prime minister in Britain and Hatshepsut was the most famous, most powerful woman in ancient Egypt. There were six female pharaohs in 3,000 years but uh, Hatshepsut was the most famous.